Imagine for a moment you wake up unable to hear in one ear. It happened just like that to a UMKC music professor. New at 6, KMBC 9's Chris Ketz has his story and how time in a hyperbaric oxygen chamber helped bring it all back. For Chris Madden, it was the middle of last October, a Friday. He woke up unable to hear out of his left ear. He thought it was just congestion. The following week, I was biking downtown and I couldn't hear the buses and the cars passing me on the left side. So I figured something was really wrong. People oftentimes go to bed, they're fine, they wake up and they can't hear out of one side. That's Wendy Mall McKee of North Kansas City Hospital's Wound Healing and Hyperbaric Center, which would play a major role in restoring what he lost. Doctors found Madden had sensory neural hearing loss, possibly caused by a virus attacking his inner ear, causing inflammation, which is why he couldn't hear. I said, well, what are the chances that I could get all of my hearing back? And he said, probably one or two in 10. And that's when it sort of hit me that, um, well, this isn't good. <laughs> All right, we're going in. All right. Early treatment involves steroid injections into his ear, plus time in a hyperbaric oxygen chamber at North Kansas City Hospital. What we do know is that the inner structures of the inner ear are very susceptible to low amounts of oxygen. So if you put them in a hyperoxygenated, you know, situation like a hyperbaric chamber, that increases the oxygen that's in the system that's going to the ears. The hyperbaric sessions over the next 20 days worked. Madden figures the hearing in his left ear is now 99% back. Where would you be without this treatment today? Oh, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I, it's kind of a dark place to even think about, to be honest. And it happens more than you think. Doctors tell Madden they're seeing anywhere from one to five people a week with the same thing. Chris Katz, KNBC 9 News. Absolutely fascinating. Early treatment in this case is key. Using a hyperbaric chamber for cases like this was approved in 2011. North Kansas City Hospital started getting referrals for the treatment last March.